Hey everyone, Zishan here with the Market Minute for November 2018. Uh, as we get into the holiday season, I just wanted to give you a quick update as to where our GTA real estate market is. Um, we're going to look at some year over year comparisons between the GTA overall and the Toronto and York region. And then we'll talk about what's going on with the interest rate and the Bank of Canada's recent decision and how it will affect buyers and sellers in our market. Let's get right into these numbers. So what you'll notice between 2017 and 2018 is that sales have come down. Uh, however, in context, you've got to know that the number of listings have also come down proportionally. So our, what that means is our market is still very balanced. Um, when we look at the months of inventory, we see that we went from 2.5 months of inventory to 2.6 months of inventory. Uh, over the same time last year, November 2017 to November 2018. What that translates into is about a 3.5% rise in prices over the same time last year. And that's for the GTA. So that's east, west, north, south, and everything in between. If we drill down a little bit and we look at the Toronto market specifically, we'll see the same trend. We'll see that sales have come down a little bit but also that um, listings have come down proportionally. Our months of inventory has stayed relatively stable, uh, moving from 1.8 months of inventory to 1.9, uh, and prices have actually risen 5% uh, year over year, uh, November 7, 2017 to November 2018. Richmond, sorry, York Region is a little bit of a different story. Sales have come down, listings have come down, um, but prices have also come down. They've come down about five, 4% year over year. Uh, it's not earth shattering, it's not ground baking, and it's probably not big news to anybody, but it's worth noting. 4%, um, again, not catastrophic, but a slight decline in the York region market. Inventory is still holding pretty firm, firm at about 4.4 months of inventory. Um, again, just a quick update what we're doing or what's happening in the GTA market. I want to take a quick second to also talk about the Bank of Canada's recent announcement uh, to not change the overnight lending rate or to not change their interest rate. Uh, what they did hint at was that they would uh, reconsider raising interest rates uh, in 2019, potentially three times, starting as early as January. I wanted to kind of dive into this a little bit and explain how this will affect um, buyers on a monthly basis as well as their affordability and what it'll do to sellers. So if you've got, let's say we've got a $500,000 mortgage. Let's say we have a 30 year amortization and your interest rate today is about 3.7%. Every time the Bank of Canada increases their interest rate by 25 basis points, what it's going to do is it's going to raise your monthly payments by about $70. So it's not, uh, again, it's not a huge amount, but when you compound this, and if the Bank of Canada does this three times next year, you are going to spend about $200 more per month just on your mortgage. So again, $70 for every 25 basis points that the Bank of Canada raises their rates. So better not... Uh, procrastinate better not prolong this if you are in the market and you are kind of considering uh, getting into the market it's a good time to at least get a pre-approval and lock in a rate before the rates go up for sellers you need to keep this in mind if you're thinking about selling um, these will this will impact or the interest rates will impact what buyers can afford and how many people can look at your house at any given time uh, I hope this has been helpful for you if you have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know uh, comment, send me a message, or give me a quick call. Uh, I wish you and your family a very happy holiday season, and I'm looking forward to serving you and your families in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Oh,